Good morning children. In a previous lesson, we saw how humans breathe and how the lung functions. But how do other living things breathe? Do they all breathe the same way or do they follow some other mechanism? Let us find it out. Many other land animals have lungs like humans. For example, all the mammals, that is, all the animals which give birth to young ones, say cow, goat, lion, tiger, etc. You know, even the reptiles, amphibians, birds, etc. have lungs in their chest cavities just like us. We know amphibians like frog can live both on land and in water. On land, a frog breathes through nostrils and has a pair of lungs. You must have seen frogs in the ponds too. How does it breathe in water? Well, it uses oxygen which is dissolved in water. In water, the frog takes in oxygen which is dissolved in water using its moist skin and gives out carbon dioxide. But have you ever wondered how do insects breathe? Do they have tiny lungs? No. Cockroaches and many other insects breathe through small openings or pores on their body surface. These are called spiracles. Spiracles are internally connected to many air tubes which send air to the cell. How does this happen? The oxygen rich air rushes through the spiracles into the air tubes. The air then diffuses into the body tissue and reaches every cell of the body. Same way carbon dioxide from the cells goes into the air tubes and finally moves out through the spiracles. The microbes don't have any organ or blood so they just absorb oxygen directly through their body surface into the cell. The earthworm absorbs air through the body surface but little differently. The earthworm has blood so the air enters the blood vessels which are just under the skin. Then the blood carries oxygen to all the cells. It is just like how frogs breathe in the water. Now, how do water animals breathe? Do all water animals breathe through skin like frog? No. A fish breathes through gills. Gills are full of blood vessels. The fish takes in water through the mouth and that water washes the gills. That time the blood in the blood vessels absorbs the dissolved oxygen from the water. And what about plants? It is a living thing. Does it breathe too? We never see it breathing. Yes. A plant also needs oxygen for respiration. It takes in oxygen through stomata in leaves. In the old stems, there are small pores called lenticels which are also used for the exchange of gases. Even the roots take in oxygen from the air spaces between soil particles using the hair on the roots. What about dolphins and whales? Unlike fish which breathe through gills in the water, dolphins and whales breathe air from their blowhole which is the hole on the top of their head. How do they breathe? They all come to the surface of water, open a blowhole on the top of their heads, expel air and quickly take in new air before going down the water surface. Interesting to know, isn't it? So now we know breathing is a characteristic of all the living things but this process is not same for all. In fact, 
all animals have to breathe in a way so that they can adapt to its environment like we don't need gills as we live on land a fish uses gills as lungs is not suitable for living in the water you know the ancestors of whale and dolphin both of which have lungs was an animal called pachycetus it lived on land and also had lungs that's all for now bye bye children